Hey guys, see you um, I just want to show off a little bit about the building work that I've been adding in. So, as some of you might know, I've been adding in this thing called props. So, it allows a modder to add buildings, structures, and destructible groups, which can be inside that can be destructibles like lampposts and things like that. Um, but it can also be um, like buildings that you just walk into and it just blows up. Um, really flimsy things. So, um, so here's an example of some buildings. Uh, I managed to get the first version of the building code, or the prop code, working in Mission Control, and so now I started porting it over to the designer. Um, so, as you can see now, some of these things are custom. So you've got this big wall back in the back there, you've got a bridge, you have these two um, military buildings, you've got a big military building there, and you actually have um, a small wall here as well, which is all custom. Um, so yeah, this is all showing up in the designer now. Um, you're able to select um, the building. So the buildings actually show up on the left here, what's loaded. You'll be able to add new buildings, add new structures, add new destructible groups, which inside that have buildings or uh, destructibles in it. Um, it's not hooked up into when you select one of these, so I'll select it up here, yeah, but I'll be there now, soon. Um, yeah, so you can select this and you can see a highlight um, and you can see the, the translation um, and you're able to kind of move these things around um, and place them somewhere better. They're not tied to the grid, they don't need to be. Um, so you can just like move them around um, and then you could swap to the rotate tool and um, yeah, like say we want the doors to be facing there, um, and we'll select that one and bring it over, um, raise it up a bit. If I get a bit closer there, and so just doing this will be pretty cool. And you'll be able to add new buildings in, um, and um, yeah, just get them in. Really, it's like we want this one to be rotated. We just rotate it. Oh, <laughs> wrong way, other way around. Okay, let's keep going and. Uh, Okay, bring it around that way. I might reduce the snapping because it's, it's like, um, you can see there, it's like a certain percentage snap. Um, so actually, maybe I'll have a con hold down control or something for a finer rotation and a finer translation, maybe. Um, but yeah, um, I'll probably, I'll have it so you can optionally have the, the prop kind of snap to the, um, to the floor. Um, Right now it's kind of more of a free movement because you'll be able to um, you'll be able to um, have a bit more control over it as well. So um, yeah, those those snaps are everything. Anyway, I'm getting I'm getting sidetracked. So yeah, it's a pretty cool feature. Um, just to say, oh, this wall's too far in the in the dirt. There we go. Make it a bit a bit bigger. Um, yeah. So just wanted to show this out. Off. Thanks a lot, guys.